Hey, what's up guys? It's Anish here today, and we are back with another video on Sonic Prime. See, it's been a little while, and we have some small tidbits here and there for Prime, and I thought instead of just making one video in each of them, why not just took it all into one video? So, we have some new footage of Prime, and trust me, it is an unbelievable amount of footage, that's all I'll say. We have some more words on it from Takashi Izuka, and finally, we have a possible date where we could see some more footage of Sonic Prime. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys, and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand onto YouTube with Sonic Rush. Now, from where we're getting this footage from, for some reason, it's unlisted on Netflix's YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down below, but I just find that really weird because it's got some new footage of Prime in it, so why would the deal list start? I don't know, but um, anyways, instead of just reacting to it, I'm going to play it because it's an unbelievable amount of footage. Like, I'm not even joking. So, I'm also play the clip right now. See, I told you, that was an unbelievable amount of footage. You know what? Play it again. I hope you didn't blink there because you probably end up missing it. So yes, that was a whole two seconds of Sonic Prime footage. So, what actually happens in this footage is, the first half of it, we see Sonic from the original teaser Prime running Green Hill once again. But then... The second half of it is actually a close-up of Sonic we didn't see before. Sonic first continues looking forward, but then he does the most unbelievable thing. He turns his head. I know, I know. That's some pretty crazy stuff right there. You might need to sit down for that. But if there's one thing I noticed about this close-up of Sonic is that it seems way different compared to the original teaser we got. It seems like the animation quality is bumped up as soon as it switched to the close-up of Sonic. I don't know why. To me, it almost seems like the Sonic Forces model in a way. I mean, the color of Sonic seems similar to the Forces model. And also, his spines look a lot shorter here. Now, I don't know if this new footage of Prime is a later build of the TV show. Now, another way I'm saying this, I'm making it sound as if it's like a video game or something. But I don't know, the way the animation looks here too, in the new footage, seems a lot better than the original Prime teaser. Does anybody else think that? I mean, I know the only thing we saw was Sonic turning his head, but it looks a lot smoother and a lot cleaner than it did in the original Prime teaser. Where in that, Sonic seemed to be animated decently, but it wasn't really that smooth all that much. Whereas with the new footage, it looks a lot more official and professional here. And it overall looks a lot better than what we saw in the original Prime teaser. If this is how the show is going to look, then I'm going really to be pretty happy about that. I mean, this seems very similar to Master's CGI quality. Right, that's all I have to say about the teaser. I know it's been out for a couple of weeks now. I think it's been like out for over two weeks now. And the reason I talked about it now is because I don't think I've seen anybody else talk about it. And to be honest with you, we're going to dry on Prime content right now. So, I might as well chuck it in here because why not? But anyways, we now move on to Tails' channel. We have an interview with Izuka who talks a bit more about Prime. And just a small insignificant bit about Origins. 2022 reassured to be the big year for Sonic following unveiling of new Sonic Origins gameplay during South Korean broadcast. Fans got a preview of the upcoming anniversary collection and a reminder about the franchise's big year. Sonic Studio creative officer Takashi Izuka finished off the presentation by talking about the significance of 2022 for Sonic and the numbers that Paramount's movie sequel brought from the box office. Sonic Origins is a title we can enjoy all four works at the origin of Sonic. 2022, the year where Sonic turns 31, is the biggest year in Sonic's history. The movie Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is showing a higher box office success than its predecessor. And in the second half of this year, the animation Sonic Prime will be streamed on Netflix. It depicts a new world of Sonic that could not be expressed in movies or games. So please look forward to it. And that is all from Izuka for today. But just before we start discussing, we have something from our boy Jeff Keighley. Excited to announce, I'll be hosting Netflix's Geeked Week gaming event alongside Atomic Mari, streaming Friday, June 10th, as part of Summer Game Fest. We'll have news and announcements about shows based on video games and Netflix games news, such world premieres too. Right, that is it for the news, so it's now time for the discussion part of today's video. So yes, we have some new words from Izuka about Prime and also a possible announcement date for when we could see some more Prime footage. Starting off with Izuka's words on Prime, Prime will depict a new world of Sonic that can't be expressed in the movies or the games, meaning that Prime will most likely be somewhat original. Well, I mean, when we first saw Green Hill, that really didn't give me much faith of originality because, uh, we have a Green Hill in the movies and in the games, so what's so different about Prime Green Hill that can't be done in the games? Alright, jokes aside here, maybe this means that the Sega mandates won't apply to Sonic Prime. Like Sonic crying or Shadow having to be an unnecessary edgelord or 
Team Dark Knight existing. Now, I know that's actually the case because this is still Sonic, so Sega has some control over it. But then again, the people working on Prime aren't the usual people. It's the people over at Wild Rain Studios. Now, we're not even going to be involved with Prime somehow. I don't think it's going to be a massive role in the TV show. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they can pull off in Prime that we can't really see in the games. I don't really know what he means by that, but... I'm interested to see what they can actually do. Maybe we can see some sort of different Sonic Spark TV shows or something like maybe Boom Sonic because yes, yeah, they're really going to touch him ever again in the games, are they? Anyways, moving on to Jeff Keighley's tweet, he's also in some sort of Netflix event where he's going to be talking about game TV shows that are on Netflix. And it's also going to be on June 10th, a day after we're going to get gameplay for Sonic Frontiers. Now, I don't know how much involvement Jeff Keighley's had with Sonic recently. I mean, he did the Game Wars for Movie 2 and Frontiers. So maybe he could be doing Prime for this little event he is doing too. Because things about video game TV shows on Netflix. And apart from Cuphead, I don't think there's really anything else he could possibly be showing, right? I mean, he definitely could announce some more stuff there. But he also has news about TV shows, meaning things that already exist, like Sonic Prime. So I reckon we'll be seeing some sort of trailer for Sonic Prime. Maybe some sort of snippet from one of the episodes. And if we do get some Prime footage on June 10th too, June is going to be a massive month for Sonic, like, honestly. We're going to have Frontiers gameplay on June 9th, and then the day afterwards we'll have some footage from Sonic Prime, and then on June 23rd, we're going to have Sonic Origins. Forget the Summer Game Fest, this is going to be the Sonic Fest. Gorgo Fest, as some would say. Now, I know some people might say to me that I'm probably just assuming things here with Priming shown off here, but I do think it's like I might actually show Prime here. Because I think it's like I might want to show Sonic stuff all together because if you remember back at the Game Awards, we had the Sonic Movie 2 and Frontiers there. So we could be having a similar thing happen here. We have Frontiers on day one, and then the next day afterwards, we get Sonic Prime. Just to keep all our Sonic things in one place. Anyways, that brought us for today's video. So yes, we have a new teaser on Sonic Prime, which seems to have upgraded the quality from the original teaser. We have some new words from Izuka saying that Prime will have some sort of world that can't be depicted in the movies or games. What does this mean exactly? Well, we'll have to find out soon enough. And finally, we have a possible announcement date, but we can see some more Prime footage. But, what do you guys think of all of this news? Are you excited for Sonic Prime? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially the last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by the join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.